consider that pretty big for Asia. For Singapore average size, this is very big. Very, very Huge. big. Huge, largest in Singapore. Food Finders! All right, welcome back to another episode of Food Finders. Today, we have three places we're going to and another special... Something your hair, bro. Thank you, Seth. Today, we are going to three different locations trying out Indonesian food. I know there's a lot of Indonesian foods in Singapore, but I'm not as well versed in the specifics of Indonesian food. Why are we doing Indonesian food, Seth? I think we're just covering all the different cuisines because, you know, we did Philippines. Any favorite, like, specific Indonesian dish you like? Babi guling. I tried this dish called nasi gila. Crazy rice. You can imagine it is a type of fried rice, but it's just with a lot of stuff in it. What are the five national dishes of Indonesia? Well, nasi padang. No. <laughs> Ayam penyet. No. That's not... Oh my god. It's really very generic. Uh, nasi goreng? Yes, nasi goreng is one. Like a beef rendang? Rendang is rendang. another dish. Mi goreng? Uh, no, no mi goreng. Indomie mi goreng, no? Okay, the, the obvious one was satay, gado gado and soto. Which rank is Indonesian cuisine ranked in the world as? 15, 16? 2023 to 2024, they were ranked as the sixth best cuisine in the world by Taste Atlas. So it's behind Japanese, Greek, Portuguese, and Chinese. How many types of sambal are there in Indonesian cuisine? A thousand. 300 varieties of sambal. Indonesian sambals are oh, beautiful. Time for the best part. Let's go try out some Indo food and let's confirm some of these things or learn some more stuff about Indo food. On to the first place. And here we are at the first location at Babak Goreng Pak Dinat. Pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that right. They are famous here for their fried duck that's been marinated for about 24 hours in their special house sauce. I've never had actual duck, Indonesian duck before. I didn't even know duck was something that Indonesians eat a lot of. Tell me a little bit about Babak Goreng Pak Dinat. This is Babak Goreng Pak Nut, correct. Pak Nut. Bat nut. Bat nut. Bat nut. Bat nut. Nut. You didn't say it like that. <laughs> and nut. Oh, sorry. And nut. And nut. And nut. So tell me a little bit about the concept of the After all, our ducks are marinated 24 hours. It's a fresh daily from Indonesia. I didn't know Indonesia ate a lot of duck. Yeah, it's pretty common. It's, duck is a common... Especially with duck bunny, you know, they are quite popular in Indonesia. Bebek goreng. What does bebek mean? Ite. Huh? Ite duck. Pak Ndut. Pak Ndut. You know, Big Show. The Wrestler? Yes, The Wrestler, The okay. Big Show. Yes. What a random <laughs> reference. Fat guy fried duck rice. Fat guy fried duck rice. What am I gonna be tasting in just a little bit? Five types of the chilies are five levels difference. I look forward to eating this then. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Yep, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. let's do this. Yeah. Mm. So here we are with the food. Unlimited amount of the sambals depending on what levels you like. I know this is just pure spice. This one is spice with uh, balachan. This one is probably the more flavorful with a mix of more flavor. Fragrant. This one is the this sweet. sweet. This, this one is the sweet. sweet one and then this is the ajio. This for kids. First here we got the babek goreng. This one is the fried egg and tofu. It reminds me of like the Thai omelet. And over here we have ayam bakka, Indonesian grilled chicken. And, and then finally we have the oxtail soup. Oxtail soup. This duck is very right? soft. Very good, very flavorful, very tender, very, very nice, very juicy, very demure. Very demure. Sort of reminds me of a duck confit kind of thing. Yes, the texture is like duck confit. It's very string, string yeah. apart. They should cook this quite slow and then deep fry it after. So potentially a two level cooking methodology to make this duck. I'm gonna move on to chicken. If you had ayam baka, you know it's good. This one though, I do feel it's less Sweet. It's definitely got a more savory side to it and it's a little bit spicier. It's got that slight burnt char flavor, which is what you want to have in any grilled Grill, dish. Yeah. Egg, egg tofu. tofu. I love egg, I hate tofu. It looks like rojak sauce. I like Very the sweet. There's like different levels of sweet flavor. But it's not just sweet, there's like depth. Depth to the sweetness. To the sweetness. The owner was saying earlier that like they actually buy the sauce from 
Indonesia. From itself. Indonesia, yeah. yes. Because he can't get this flavor in Singapore. Maybe that's why, like, because I've had ayam baka in other yeah. places, and yeah. they tend to be more sugary sweet. And this one doesn't have that. It's a little bit more molasses y. Yes, 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 molasses. Molasses. The thing with oxtail, it's Ooh. actually traditionally a very tough piece of meat. You have to yeah. cook it really long. It's like time. slow cook this. Super slow forever, cook man. to get it soft. So let's see if it does that. Oh yeah. Oh that, yeah. That's been cooked for a while. You know it's tender enough when you don't need the fork to break it. Stick the tongue up against the roof and then the meat goes. Have you gone to like the spicier levels? I don't know. I've, I've had the spicy level one. I just I just I stopped here. I'm like <sighs> I encourage everyone who aren't spicy eaters to just practice eating spicy because there's a lot of flavors within spicy. When it gets too much, you can't taste anything else, just spicy. That's what weak people say. <laughs> Which is your favorite chili lover? This one. Same, same. This is really good. Like the onions, the spring onions and stuff. There's a whole bunch of things inside. I feel when you eat this food, you can tell through the cooking and the flavors and the effort into every small detail, you can tell that there's care put into the food. Fun fact about this restaurant, mm -hmm. the ex-Indonesian president, Joko Widodo, has actually been spotted eating here when oh. he visited Singapore. Makes sense. If it's good enough for the Indonesian president, it's good yeah. enough for locals. I dare say it's, it's the best Indonesian food I've had in Singapore so far. Okay, we can end the episode already. <laughs> That's it. We're <laughs> That's done. It. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Okay, let's go check out the next place now. And so we're here in the second location. Kumi Bali. Three times running Michelin Bib Gourmand location here at the heart-ish of the CBD-ish area. They focus on a lot of seafood and they are, as the sign suggests, the original taste of Indonesian ayam penyet. Oh no, oops, sorry. <laughs> Nasi padang, not ayam ben yet. So we're gonna try it out and bring you along for the ride. Food's over here. Let's go over what do we have in front of us. This is, I believe they call this kumi bali, but it's sotong to mila. They're special sauce with no oil used and all fresh ingredients to make the sauce. Uh, this is your turmeric rice, probably freshly grounded, pounded mm. sambal. The biggest chicken satays I've ever seen. Apparently Singapore's longest satay. <laughs> longest, largest satay. Longest satay. satay. Measuring she, she insisted we measure it. So let's go into a stick measuring contest. Here. Seven plus inches. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen cm. Nineteen cm. It's pretty, pretty long stick. Pretty decent size. The pretty, girth pretty of the chicken here also impressive. This one's a big, right? I would consider that pretty big for Asia. For Singapore average satay size, this is very big. Very, very huge. Big. Largest in Singapore. Oh, I'm oh sorry. Wow. look! Look at this stick bend. Good, good, good. Look at <laughs> this stick is like literally <laughs> struggling. Yeah, it's bending. It's, it's, it's struggling. screaming for help. Very good. Mm. She was mentioning how they don't use a lot of powder, right? There's like little specks in it. Because when you use powder, the powder just dissolves into yep. uh. the water and then you get like very clean yellow rice. But I could probably confirm that she's probably using fresh turmeric. Like which fresh is, turmeric that she grinded. Yeah, which is why it's more fragrant. It's not just color. The fish, you can see like little fine specks. I believe it's like probably the galanga or something. Like the fibers of the spice is still there. there. This is the type of uh, ota ota that uh, I like. It's like the banana leaf ota ota uh, that's a bit eggy. I'm actually more of a fan of this topping part than the actual fish yeah, itself. Like, yeah. Is this pomfret? Looking at the bone structure, I'm pretty sure it's a pomfret. Yeah. What kind of uh, fish is it? Because uh, ikan ayam. Ikan ayam. Chicken fish. <laughs> how, how do you get the texture of the base though? Chicken it's spices. It's just all spices. There's no like, there's no, no flour, no flour. Egg? egg, nothing. Egg, no flour. No flour. Squid. It would have been nicer if it was still warm, but flavor-wise, it's very good. Like very big, one. and it's cooked nicely. Like, it's um, still soft. Big ass chicken satay. 16 spices. Uh. Can buy cocoa. <laughs> the satay, is it also 16 spices? Yes, so you don't need salt. Just a lot of people are allergic to sauce. Ma. Do you marinate the, the chicken, or you just cook it and then dip? No, you have to marinate. Yeah, because I can taste the flavor inside the yeah. meat. I feel it's like already put all the sauce in, and then just marinate it, and then once people order, they just put it on the grill. How do you find it? It's good. I, I, I was very taken back by this one's quality. When I think like grilled fish, I think more of like a crispiness, right? But it's got a more 
steam texture to, to yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah. But the flavors of it really does remind me of like that otak. That, that is, otak. it tastes exactly like what? Yeah. Like texture and all. The meat of this fish is very, it's meaty. It's a bit firmer it's, than pork. It's firmer, yeah. It's a bit firmer than pork, right? Tumit rice is amazing. Tumit rice is amazing. Um, These two would have been much better had we had just like, eaten like it. It was a bit warmer, hot. yeah. The spices really just penetrate all the way into the meat. One thing that I, I like about the satay, but also kind of may disagree a little bit with is satay is nice because it's small. When it's so right. small, you get more of those grilled little pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't really get as much of that on these big pieces, but yeah. you do get a lot more meat. Let's move off to the last spot. One, two, three, three. We are here at Three by Garamika. Garamika is the name combined of the three sisters that founded this place. These three sisters are making their grandmother's recipe, paying tribute to their grandma and their, you know, where they're originally from, which was Indonesia. They're now Singaporeans, but they did come here when they were very young. We're just gonna see what they have in terms of grandma styled recipes. All right, so we are here now with the founders, Garamika. Garamika. Tell me a little bit more about how this all started. So it started when I was very young and I always have the dream to open a cafe. So the traditional oxtail soup is a recipe that has been passed down from my grandma to my mom to us. I'm in charge of kind of like the aesthetics. I think one thing we really want to make this place is like a, like as homey as possible and as cozy as possible. That's why you can see all of like the warm tones. Sure about the chair. Oh yes, the chair. Because we specialize in oxtail. So this is um, the, the, the horns. horns yeah. I was going to say, there's like a little it's ox there. Cow. But why Highland Cows? I used to go to school in Scotland. There's a lot of cows there. Yeah. And we love the cows. Yeah, they're cute. And big, yeah, so. Largest in Singapore. We just launched a sister brand, per se, it's three sips, Indonesian inspired drink sets, regal biscuit latte. You turn the biscuit into the drink. Yes, and you let it melt and let the flavor infuse Do together. together. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's just uh, let's just wrap this up and uh, let's try <laughs> some of this food. I have already mixed this, but when it did come, it came with all the regal biscuits on top. At first, I thought it was just toppings, so I drank it. it tastes a bit more like milk. The biscuit will soak up the milk, and then you really just mix it all the way in, and then it just like as you can see now. It's got the flavored, the texture reminds me of like a cereal drink. So it's sweet, it's got some chunks in it. You get a little bit of that coffee flavor, but um, it is overall quite smooth. Yeah, I think the most interesting part about this is the fact that it's got that cereal drink texture. This is the ginger punch, the girls' hometown drink. It's made with ginger, cinnamon, pandan leaves. Don't exactly know how they make it. The gingery part, is, it's not super gingery. Pandan flavor is very prominent. I think there is also the lemongrass, yes. Good play with spices. It's not a super sweet drink, it's refreshing. I start with the most, I think, traditional of the, the bunch soup looking, the okay. soup. Okay, soup. Nice bad, no? chunk. Yeah, that was good. Nice chunk of meat here. I feel this is yeah. not an oxtail piece of chunk though. Then where do you come from? Chicken. So I think there's like two types of meat in here. There's the actual oxtail, and then they do add a type of lean meat. But it is cooked to the point where it's like... It's still tender. Yeah. Very, very tender. Uh, yeah. Should I be looking at this camera or that camera? That, that one. one. <laughs> Keep looking at this one. Getting intimate with the... I've been watching a lot of that, uh, the culinary class <laughs> <was> from... <laughs> because I also used to cook, right? There's this concept called double boiling when you're making broth to get a more cleaner, refined outcome. You want to boil everything first. You want to cook all the yeah. blood, everything, right. and then you almost dump that out. And then you wash it to, to get all the grit out. Yep, yep. And then the second round, you have clean water. Because it's going to braise for so long, you're going to get the essence out anyways, but it actually helps true, with making a very clean, less cloudy broth. Like, yeah, your broth won't have so much of that, uh, yeah. the grime. It doesn't really affect the taste as much. I mean, it would just make it a cleaner overall soup, but the flavors are there. These two are also like ox broth soups, right? But like these do look clearer. Oh, that's hot. Shit, it's like a super concentrated chicken soup, man. Definitely not like stock. It's all more like crusty, caramelized bits here, right? I think the flavors are there. I am missing the skin though. There's no skin, right? I'm trying to verify. There's no skin. Oh shit, you're right. Maybe it's a health thing. Grilled oxtail with gado, gado. Blanched vegetables, mainly cabbage, Mixed carrots, beans, sprouts, long beans, the long beans, okay. Tauge. Is gado gado peanut sauce? Yes, it's 100% homemade. Look at peanut butter. I don't normally like salads. Yeah, savory and sweet. Get a bit of a uh, hit of the uh, lemongrass as well. Like compared to like a Caesar salad, right? Fried oxtail, man. Adieu. Oh, good. 
It's a different cake. Different texture, different flavor. Probably from the batter, right? A bit more of the saltiness. Nice and crispy on the outside, and then really soft on the inside. That, mixed with the agio, very good. Who do you prefer, like the grilled one or like the fried? Both of these renditions of the oxtail is quite good. They're cooking the oxtail in general well, and then yeah. they're taking the oxtail and applying different techniques and different cooking styles to then add something mm. new to yeah. a very traditional dish, uh, which I think is good. Three here and the grills, they serve three different types of ways you can have. Well, you can obviously dine in, of course, but if you got any corporate events, uh, need some catering done, they can help you with that. If you would like to book this space out for events, this area itself, just go ahead and contact them. And if you just want to eat at home, they do do takeaway with all your major kind of grab food, island-wide yeah. delivery. Neighborhood, nice cafe, but it's kind of modern twist to Indonesian uh, recipes from their grandmother, started by three young sisters. That's it for uh, three. Let's round up today's episode. Favorite spot of the day, Gary. The first place, Bebek. Really, 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 really good. That duck was just very surprising and shocking to me. So that was mm -hmm. both my favorite place and favorite dish of the day. It's not to say or to take away from the other two places. I just felt that place had the full flavors of Indo with all the unhealthiness. And the, the chili spice levels are also like, oh man, it really kicks you in the face. I don't know why I like, I just really like the soup and tree. Really? I just, I just get drinking it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you really yeah, did yeah. like that soup. Uh, with all the grime and all, but I, I just like the flavor of it. So Indonesian food, how do you feel about it? I feel it tastes familiar and different at the same time. Much like a lot of Southeast Asian food, there are very common ingredients used across the board. But what I've really been able to identify is that everything tastes a little bit sweeter on the surface. Yeah, and yeah, what yeah. really adds that punch or that kick mm -hmm. in Indonesian food so far is the sambal. And that's it for this episode. Do remember to like and subscribe. Uh, let us know if you have any other ideas for episodes. Right, and this is Gary and Seth. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Uh, what's your name? Yes, I'm uh, Shaggy. Shaggy? Ah, uh, yes, Shaggy. Uh, Let me shag. Yeah. Let me just shaggy. S H A G G Y. S H A G G Y. Uh, shaggy, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I. Uh, shaggy. Yeah. Mr. Lover Lover. Mm. <laughs> you know? Bombastic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>